Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 13th, 2020. So let's see what we have here, what we have going on. All right. We have Shadokai Teacher. Now, you're learning something because when I saw teacher, I, I felt like it wasn't like you being a teacher. I mean, maybe you are, but <laughs> it was more about someone teaching you. So learning something, being the student, being the student of the world. Every time this comes out, I swear that crystal looks like the world to me, almost, right? So allowing yourself to remain teachable, to admit when you learn something and you go, oh man, I've always stood by this way of thinking or this opinion and you know I, I don't want to back down from that right and and this says no 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 if you're if you're having a teachable moment allow yourself to be taught and allow that lesson to sink in so this is also like we're going to be taught what doesn't work that has been going on in the world that simply cannot go on any longer again this could be human atrocities this could be you know humanitarian uh, crises and you know it, it's not just uh, where I live I live in the United States it's all over the place it's things are happening all over the world there are crises everywhere so um, again I know a lot of people love to sort of wear like a badge oh I'm so sensitive and that's fine and I'm sensitive too I'm an empath as well and I say take care of your energy but do not forget that we are here to be the compassionate ones while setting boundaries and a lot of times when you are the compassionate one People don't like it when you set boundaries. Again, do you understand how much I get, how much hate I get when I set boundaries? Or I'm just very level in, in making a video? People call it sassy, feisty. Why? Why? Are we so not used to people just leveling that we think it's weird and it needs to have some sort of label on it? Or you see what I'm saying? Like what, <laughs> what is that about? It's because we think that empaths are supposed to be cute and shy and demure, diminutive, right? And you know, I, we don't need to play that game. You can be strong and be sensitive. As a matter of fact, when you understand how to work with that sensitivity, that's the biggest source of strength I think that you can finally accomplish, right? That takes real courage. So when we say teacher, you know, allow yourself to be taught that. Allow yourself to understand your true nature and that that true nature doesn't necessarily make you a mystical being. I know that that is very attractive to a lot of people. And to that, I would say define mystical. I don't know. I think it's kind of mystical that we show up in these bodies and they animate by a soul. That's weird, right? <laughs> like, what's that about? There's magic in that already. Why do we have to take it even further? Why, you know, there's mystical kind of feeling in, you know, quantum understandings and what our timelines are and how expansive are we as human beings. That's pretty cool. But when we sit and we try to contrive a story, contrive a narrative that serves no other purpose but to dazzle you and to help you escape, now you're working against yourself. Now you're working against your true nature. Okay, you're living in yet another story, <laughs> right? Uh, yet another layer of story, okay? So don't let that pull you away from who you authentically are. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.